This is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. This first story comes from Thames Valley Police and it's about a father that was drunk and driving down the hard shoulder of the M40 with his child in the car before he crashed and then tried to evade capture. A judge has sentenced Miley Connors, who's 37 years old, from Hambrook, West Sussex, to two years in prison that was suspended for two years at Oxford Crown Court on the 12th of April 2024. The judge also disqualified him from driving for two years and he would need to pass an extended retest to get his licence back. The judge also ordered he pay three grand in fines, work 250 hours for free and 100 days of alcohol monitoring. A jury unanimously found Connors guilty of one count of dangerous driving and also child neglect on the 16th of February. At 4.30pm on the 29th of December 2021, police received numerous calls from members of the public saying that a silver SUV had got up on the hard shoulder and on the carriageway doing 100 miles an hour, swerving in between traffic. The car then hit the central reservation in Shabington and lost control and a tyre came off. Fortunately, nobody was injured and Connors got out of the car and urinated up the side of the carriageway. It was then reported that a child was seen running up the embankment trying to get out of danger and the police tried to search for Connor and the child and they used the National Air Ambulance to support them. Moments later Connor was found throwing up and they rescued the child and put him into safety. This story definitely goes to show the dangers that are posed when you drink and drive and also putting other people's lives at risk when you choose to put your own life at risk. And hopefully that young boy isn't too traumatised by the situation that occurred. I really want to hear the thoughts from the viewers on this story. You're under arrest, so be for quiet. For what reason am I under arrest? Section 4 of the Road Traffic Act. Also within the child neglect. Walk. In this next story, it's an update to a case that I covered several months ago about the two old men that were set on fire in London and Birmingham by the same man. This week, he has been sentenced. Mohamed Abakar, 29 years old, poured petrol on the victims who were in their 70s and 80s and they were both walking out of a mosque. He set them on fire using a lighter and he has been given a hospital order by the judge so they have declared him to not be mentally sane and he needs specialist help. And currently at the moment there is a study going on at Birmingham University trying to find out what your views are on people getting hospital orders for cases like this. So I'd really appreciate it if you took five minutes of your time to be able to fill out a short questionnaire on this subject. In the description I will leave a link to this. It has been reported in court that Mohammed struck on the 27th of February last year when Hashi Adawa, his first victim, who is 82 years old, was leaving prayer in West London from the Islamic Centre. He was inside the mosque at the same time as the victim and they both left at 8pm. The victim was approached by Mohammed, who was holding a vulvic bottle containing petrol and Abu Qar asked the victim if he remembered him and he said no and then Mohammed said I swear in the name of Allah you know me and then he poured petrol over him. He set him on fire with a lighter and ran away. The victim threw his jacket in the road before being taken to hospital by his family. Mohammed then struck again on the 20th of March. This time he targeted Mohammed Reyes, 70 years old, on Dudley Road in Birmingham. He also was leaving the mosque at around 7pm. He approached Mr Reyes on Shenstone Road and spoke to him and he asked him the similar question to what he asked the first victim and then he poured petrol over him and set him on fire. Mr Reyes's son was thankfully nearby and he opened the door of the house and then he was able to help his father in the situation. Mohammed was sadly left with serious burns and he was in need of a skin graft to his hands and also face. He was diagnosed with depression and PTSD and was left with aches inside his face as well. 
The police launched a major investigation and this included taking witness statements, trawling CCTV and also going by the nearby mosque to find out any inquiries about that day and anybody that may have seen something. At Birmingham Crown Court last November, Abu Kar was found guilty of two charges of attempted murder. He denied the offences based on insanity and today he was given a hospital order, meaning he'll be treated in a secure unit indefinitely for what he was diagnosed with and that is schizophrenia. He will only be released when he's no longer a risk to the public. So this story, like I said, I've done several episodes on this in relation to when it first broke and went to the scene of the crime in Winston Green where the man was set on fire and I also have covered the follow-up as well and thank you to everybody that supported the channel and also the coverage over this time and please take your time to fill in that questionnaire to try and help people who suffer from mental health illnesses and also to help prevent victims. I really appreciate you joining me today. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and follow on social media as well at Scarcity Studios on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter and Facebook. Peace.